hi everyone this update about bitcoin bitcoin made a huge move so i need to give the confirmation with some one the wave one guys before starting the video still not yet subscribe the channel subscribe the channel and press the like button leave a comment guys that's how you're motivating me so far i have one news also normally i'm not sharing the news so bitcoin uh, what do you call what i will call him bitcoin godfather uh, michael Saylor. he bought 480 bitcoin everyone knows i think so right now his average going to be 300 a uh, 30,800 something so right now we have a, almost 130,000 bitcoin so he had in the dip, this bottom also 20,817 area i think so and there is some in this price move and that uh, the buying there is some movement i want to see that's the real scenario because we hit straight away 20,000 how much the height if i zoom out exactly the exact height is 20,900 but he bought it 20,817 anyway that is just the news no single person cannot move anything the huge single person cannot control the bitcoin so he is the one of the guy who holding the bitcoin doesn't mean he holding a lot so the rest of people holding the more than that thing so entire world holding the bitcoin that is the different scenario guys so i'm going to trigger my wave one is completed so blue wave one is completed right now we are in the wave two most probably i should confirm the wave 2 is completed as well in this 20000 area guys because we already hit about more than 20000 i told you i at least i need the wave count in a 20000 area the minimum so i am consider we already see the second highest also but it's too close that's the reason because it will take little longer time and in this scenario we are in the last moment we are in the end so it it's take little so longer but anyway the the blue waves one is completed so far uh, because I'm telling because we have a huge wig only and pretty much we hold it in a 19,965 area that 20,000 area I'm always talk about so if I counted in below to wig and it's already right now the the uh, we already completed but i'm considering it's a little huge wave in here so you guys remember i told you i have a small trend line here so i'm thinking we are moving in the trend line so in case of we moving in the trend line we break the trend line so far we have a more downside potential right now the prices are sinking the bitcoin is sinking prices are sinking as well and the price moving down that's why i don't want to put this trend line got this trend line in a very shorter time period it's not accurate it can be moved here and there any time in this scenario the major part is to see in the wave one so you guys remember i counted if you did not check my previous solana video i count how the bit uh, the solana can move down to hit the price target area where in case of solana move in a that manner uh, solana will go in solana last price going to be the 12 dollar or 11 dollar area the below 15 dollar area so right now below 15 is not that much far only another 50 50 percentage in all the way we came nine, 90 percentage or 80 percentage it doesn't matter we will go from here the 50 percentage guys in right now i'm telling to you even the bitcoin came all the way for more than 50 percentage right now from here 50 percentage is possible anytime oh most probably 30 percentage to reach my price target area guys i need to check right now the wave 2 going to be where that's the thing we need to focus very closely so i'm 
most probably by the date wise because that date also more important because i cannot count the wave in very close candlestick patterns now these are the time period i'm not really happy with that time period the price i'm really happy the way it's came down because if i consider we pretty much landed and go up so wave three should be the long wave is going to be the sixteen thousand. Oh, this yellow price box should be considered sixteen thousand seven hundred fifty level area, guys. That's my the wave three. If we go in this much high, otherwise we consider this is the high that twenty thousand. The price going to be still okay that one percentage flip level but i would like to see the wave 3 in 15800 uh, 15841 area but right now what i saw the price we hit this week here i consider my price the next wave 3 because that meaning we are in a right now the third wave so third wave we i consider this one also wave 2 in this scenario the invalidated point the wave 2 we need to break above this one so in case of we break above this one right now before we go below than this level the white line guys this white line is the next huge support before we go below this white line the white box I'm consider still we are in the wave 2 that's what you guys get to, wants to know about in the Bitcoin that is the more accurate prices yeah you guys remember i put that uh, 19495 area this is going to be the huge uh, again support and resistance but right now we are came down all the way we trying to move upside and fake out again so we are reducing the volume right now the price right now and the next scenario in next week this is the long weekend going to be again the monday also the stock market is not going to open because today is the last day stock market working in this week and after three days we can see anything so if there is no stock market movement and there is no pretty much news the bitcoin mostly moving to the upside that is the in the last few years if you consider if you check the last few years you go you saw the price in this one and the next scenario the downtrend is invalidated we go above on this level that meaning the wave 4 there is you guys need to be aware of it because we did not go below than the wave 3 till now we did not go above uh, than wave 4 so the wave 4 is 100 percent confirmation will be there to complete the below price than the wave 3 so still we did not make the wave uh, below price than the wave 3 guys and that's the more <coughs> sorry guys that's the more important thing you guys need to know about the price and the candlestick pattern we are in between and e that's why this is micro chart count uh, counting to about to get to know where the price moving I would like to see in case of I told you the wave 3 is such a long and we need to make a below than the larger wave 3 the pink wave 3 so then we have a confirmation we 100 percent confirmation uh, about this one right now is still this the entire fourth wave downtrend is invalidated in case of we go beyond that the level so uh, uh, most probably we never going to see why this the yellow patch the yellow line is more accurate price for me more stronger multi-month trend line this one so that trend line is going to be if you we if we need a very strong support to break out that level and to move upside if we break out this level meaning we are going to see above 23607 level and we are going to upper upper level of this box guys so that's my current lookout for bitcoin guys need to be confirmed the where price going to be and still the time is not enough to confirm but the movement is enough 
that's the thing the way is move is enough if I check this scenario you know this way the wave is pretty much enough you guys see that the 786 FIP level we already landed guys we landed below than that we already landed 887 FIP level and right now we are moving upside guys we are bouncing from here the same particular bounce you guys can see after we made up this move the short term traders what they are looking they are waiting to make the higher high and they consider this is the high high where we can land it and they are buying from here they have a short term profit in this between that's the technique from the short term profits and swing traders so if you like my content subscribe the channel and press the like button guys leave a comment that's how you're motivating me thank you very much have a lovely day be safe